I'm mostly saddened, though, that Miles Gua is, is literally sitting in a federal prison right now as a political prisoner and a freedom fighter. He doesn't deserve to be there. I could stand here and tell you the ills of the CCP and how that relates to what's going on in America, but you know this. What I do want to tell you is that America is the last vestige. This is it. There's no other place on earth that can save everyone. And if we lose America, we lose it all. Because America is about freedom. Now, think about China. How many people own guns in China? Nobody. The reason nobody owns guns in China is because the CCP couldn't control the people if everybody owned guns. How many people own guns in Taiwan? Nobody. How easy it is, is it for China to go into Taiwan with nobody owning guns there? Easy. You want to protect Taiwan? Give every citizen in that country an AR-15, every single one of them. China's going to think twice about going in. How do I know this? During World War II, the Emperor of Japan thought about invading the United States of America. The Emperor of Japan told his generals, we can't go in there. Every single American citizen owns a firearm. We'd lose. I travel all around the country. And you know what I see? I see the heart of America. And I'm here to tell you that there are millions of Americans that the media does not report on that are willing to stand up and fight for this country, and they will not let it go. And they see what's happening to the Chinese people at the hands of the CCP. These people, these Americans that love this country with everything they have, this is why I'm confident America will never be lost. I know these people. They will stand up for us. You being here, I'm, I'm so grateful because I, I was thinking, I've got to worry about one government coming after. All of you here have to worry about two. You've got to worry about the United States coming after you because you love freedom. You've got to worry about the CCP coming after you because you love freedom. I just saw secret police stations in New York City. You being here sends an even stronger signal to Americans and the rest of the world. So the message that I would like to give you, and I think you probably know this of having to deal with the CCP, as soon as you come to the realization that the government is willing to lie to you, and the media is willing to lie to you. The entire world opens up because now you have to actually go out and find people who you can trust and seek out the people you can trust. <laughs> Lastly, let me just say this. I know Miles is watching this or will watch this. I am grateful for his defense of freedom. I've never seen a guy so strong. Good things happen to good people. Bad things happen to good people too, but in the end, Good always beats evil. So I am confident something will break for Miles Gua. Free 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 Miles Gua.